Hi, I'm Ben from Agilent Technologies, and in this video I'm going to be discussing phase noise and RF signal generation, including the need for good, and in some cases extremely good, phase noise from signal generators. I'll be discussing OFDM design as an example of the benefit of customizable phase noise from signal generators, to mimic the limited phase noise performance of real-world sources, and to help ensure adequate performance and avoid over-design problems such as excessive cost, power, or long design cycles. To understand the performance of a system element, such as an ADC or a modulator or upconverter, or to isolate a defect, you may want a perfect test source, one that's much better than the circuit under test. The new MXG offers several levels of class-leading phase noise performance for both CW and modulated signals. With its real-time baseband DSP, the MXG also allows you to customize phase noise performance, degrading it to match real-world sources. You can use it to make design trade-offs, finding the performance level that's just good enough. Let's look at OFDM as an example. The narrow subcarrier spacing and dense constellations of modern systems require good phase noise to avoid errors from intercarrier interference, or FFT leakage. However, low phase noise has costs, including power consumption, board space, and complexity, and a successful design meets goals while minimizing these costs. With the X-Series MXG, you can start with phase noise and distortion so low the signal is effectively perfect. This indicates baseline performance and provides a reference for troubleshooting and for allocating pieces of the error budget. Class-leading phase noise performance is available from both analog and vector models of the MXG. The phase noise injection feature of the MXG provides a way to selectively degrade the signal's phase noise to evaluate the effects. Close-in, intermediate, and wide offset phase noise can be set independently. But in OFDM systems, all phase noise is not the same. Phase noise at wide offsets, compared to the channel, is generally filtered out. Phase noise at intermediate frequencies within the channel does add to EVM. Close-in phase noise is a special case with OFDM, since the pilot subcarriers share the same phase noise as the data subcarriers, allowing tracking algorithms to track out some of the close-in phase noise. This tracking is generally effective to about 10% of the subcarrier spacing, making some close-in phase noise less important in real-world systems. Optimizing a design in this situation requires different performance at different frequency offsets. The MXG's ability to generate perfect and precisely imperfect signals will help you speed up your design cycle and reduce risk. For more information on MXG phase noise technology and performance, visit our website.